talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, fucks? It is I, Jet, and I'm here to watch a video with you. Today's video uh, has a little bit to do with Dee Dee. Well, a lot to do with Dee Dee and Matter. But it also has a lot to do with Chantal. We're doing a reaction to Chantal, but it's a reaction to a, I think it's a 14 second video. It's actually a clip, an audio clip of Dee Dee being hurt by Natter. Well, at least that's what it sounds like. Um, I'm not going to let you guys listen to the clip because oh, it's very triggering. But I will read you what is said. So if you're very sensitive to DV, just to let you know, this might be really triggering for you. But you guys know how I like to do my videos. We are watch a video together. We cringe in unison like the family that we are. Comments where comments are due. And today's video is probably going to have lots of comments. So first and foremost, let's get into this. Grab your happy faces. It might not need your happy faces today because it's not really going to be anything to smile about. But let's begin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I found the actual audio clip from a, <laughs> a channel called Sam's Bar Lounge. If I look down, it's because I'm reading from a pad of paper. Okay. <clears throat> Glasses. Check. All right, here we go. Again, if you're sensitive to DV, let's skip ahead. First, we're gonna read this, and then we're gonna get Chantal's reaction to it, okay? Dee Dee cries throughout this, so imagine her crying when she says these things, okay? Dee Dee, please stop. Please, please, please. Natter sounds completely calm most of the time through this. Natter, shut up. Dee Dee, I beg you. Natter, shut up, shut up. Dee Dee, I beg you, I beg you. Natter, then he screams, shut up. That is what the whole entire clip is. And like I said, Dee Dee cries the entire time. Hysterically cries. So, yeah. Not the most pleasant thing to listen to. But Chantal was given the directions to the audio clips. She could listen to it for herself. So let's see her reaction to it. I actually haven't seen this, so this is going to be a fresh new reaction for me. So, it probably will piss me off, knowing Chantal. So let's find out. This might be magical. What the fuck? What was that? Yeah, but why would he be doing that on a call? Like, what, what, what was the context? so much worse with these other women like so much worse like with her because she she's more of a pushover like she allows it more he's probably so much fucking worse like he needs to be on coffee house crime like he needs to be put in jail like he's like that's fucked are we gonna let this slide they're gonna explain are they gonna say it's a lot they're gonna say it's a lot her family how do i put this you have no reason 
to criticize her. <laughs> if she says it's a lie or anything like that, you did the same fucking thing. You've got this air about you where you're trying to basically... How do I put this? It seems like you're trying to say that she's going to go along with a kind of cover-up of this abuse, like you didn't do it yourself. You can't criticize her. You did the same thing. Honestly. And if you think about it, if you had just followed through, maybe this wouldn't have happened. This is why if someone hurts you, you should seriously go to the police, follow through. Or crisis management tells you, please go to the police, tell your story, get help. It's, it's just so other people don't get hurt by the same person who victimized you. You can't criticize her. You, you can't. Family needs to like step in and get her away from him. Uh, what, the only time I begged him to stop was when he was being abusive. Even then I just mostly stayed quiet because I knew like if I said something, I cannot believe, like, if you have audio like that of abuse, that's fucked. That's a, that's abuse. When you're pleading the man and him, shut the fuck up. That cold, I recognize that. He doesn't give a fuck about you. Oh, he's such an evil piece of crap. When is the rest coming out? They can't just leak, they can't just breadcrumb something like that. That's bad. You'll graduate to more and more pain and suffering. If, exactly. He gets off on hurting DD, absolutely. She says she'll support him until the day he dies. Yeah, until the day she dies, yeah. Well, I don't know about any of this shit. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I am gonna call bullshit on that. You knew he was abusive, yeah? You knew he abused his ex-girlfriends, yeah? That's a pattern. You can't tell me that he's not going to abuse in the future. That that never crossed your mind. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't play that babe in the woods. I, I know nothing routine that's not going to fly. You've mentioned before if Dee Dee gets abused, it's what she deserves. You know damn well this is going to happen. Good try, though. Very good try. Now that what you said came to fruition, you want to pretend like, Oh, I had no idea. Honestly. Oh my goodness. How could this have happened? <sighs> Spare me. Honestly, spare me. I didn't know. To me, they're just friends, right? All of this is this drama going on, and then he still has time to keep up with me in the meantime, while he's not allowed to see me trying to plan a life with me. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You think that is why he ended the stream because she saw this? Is that around when the video came up, or? I told you, angry ligament. Brenda. <laughs> I can't feel bad for her. Like, I'm watching her right now, look at, like, supporting him. She's fucking insane. How dare you? The fucking audacity. The fucking audacity. The fucking audacity you have to say some shit like that. 
After the shit you give everybody about not believing you, and da 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 da, and all this other shit, because you flip on your story constantly, you're gonna say you don't believe her because she pulled the same shit you did? That she supported her abuser the same as you did? You sat there and you ate that food and you pretended it was the best shit on earth and you praised his ass like he was Jesus Christ himself. You did the same fucking shit. You sat there and was on the stream telling him he was the best thing on the planet and his food was gold. But you can't feel sorry for her? But we're supposed to feel sorry for you? The motherfucking audacity. You're evil, flat out evil. How dare you? Let me guess, you're the only one allowed to be a victim. The only one in this world. You're the only one allowed to collect sympathy. You sh You should be fucking ashamed of yourself, honestly. The fucking audacity. I don't know who you think you are, but you are not as special as you think you are. You are a disgusting human being. And I hope your mother sees this shit and feels horrible about who you are. The audio is sick, it is. Even more disgusting is his mods. At least Jessica bailed when she saw some gross behavior, but he still has women and they're acting like I know. Did you hear about him beating his dong on a countertop? He used to do that to me too. He used to go, look, and then he his fucking dick would be there and he'd be like, he's disgusting. He's actually like a gross deviant pig. And actually, like, do you guys believe now what his ex was saying about him masturbating in the other room? She's not good at acting. Look at her April Fool's thing. Did anyone believe her? That was acting. ALR said her therapist said she can eat whatever she wants, but advises her to apologize to a womanizing abusive pervert. Yep. Okay, I can't do any more. I can't do any more. I was having a bad day to begin with, but her selfish, rude, disgusting self is just pissing me off and going over the line. The goddamn audacity. <laughs> it's like she's saying believe all women when it's her, but when it's someone else, don't feel sorry for them. Just don't. Only me. Never anyone else. I've never met anyone like her. And that's not in a good way. I'm not saying that is she's such a good person. I'm saying that because I've never met anyone so disgusting. I mean, damn. Just damn. Like, share, subscribe. But if you don't, I'll still be sitting in this chair bitching about how the polling primaries are gonna be at my kid's school, dude. <clears throat> with them inside, along with some strangers. With volunteers that are probably over 90. <sighs> Beautiful. But really, if you don't feel like it, it's fine. Still be sitting in this chair talking to myself with this camera, as per usual. Be nice, it's optional. Don't slap box your grandmother, she has osteoporosis. Don't light house fires, is that optional? We don't do that here, we all know that. <sighs> Try to have a good day, seriously, even though it's midnight. And I'll talk to you later. I hope. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Deuces.